Nice to meet it's a you. Pleasure, Nina. I love your fashion. It's so Thank different. You. Thank you so much. It's it's. I don't. I'm like a golden girl. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm waiting for them to read. Which golden girl are you, Betty White? Blaine. Is that Blanche? Blanche. Blanche. Blaine. Blanche. I sort of like to combine names. <laughs> the edgier version. The edgier version. Of Blanche. Yeah. If that's even possible. No, they're gonna remake Golden Girls with an all-black cast. So I think I'm trying to. No, they're not. I'm kidding. Oh, I was so excited. I, I was like, that's awesome. They should though. This is where it starts. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. Diversity. Is key. Right, right. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your character. Um, Shitstain is his name. Um, Beautiful I name. I know, God. Oh, my mom, so happy. Um, he is part of a rap group, and I think we are sort of the the insanity of the show and I feel like every episode we are sort of this um, <laughs> cyclone that pushes through the episode and you don't know where we're coming from but when we're there crazy things happen and then we disappear and then you're like wow um, that was ridiculous but you know we bring we bring some levity to the show in certain places which sounds ridiculous but we do um, yeah I don't I it's a fun character to play you know you get to put on the bandana it's like my little cape, my superhero cape, and uh, go to work and do some crazy stuff. What parallels do you notice between you in real life and your character? Parallels, uh, I think he's an incredible dresser. His fashion, sense of fashion is off the charts. Um, some would probably differ, uh, but I think, um, I think he's got a good heart. He's got a good heart. No matter what happens, he sort of sees the best in people and wants to see the best in people and believes that um, we are better than what you see. Um, and so I think that, that that would be a parallel I would sort of find between the characters and myself. And that's really beautiful and it's so different from the other cynical characters on the show. So my question for you is, in real life, when you feel like you're an optimist, how does it feel to be surrounded by people who are cynical? How do you overcome that? In the show? In real life. Oh, in real life. You know, it's sort of like look, the sun is shining right now. We live, I, I mean, I, we're alive. And sort of like, I, I can control what I can control and I can never try to like bestow my sort of way of life onto somebody else. But I'm a big believer in energy and I think if people have a good energy, then good energies connect. And I think energy is contagious. And if there's enough contagious energy, good energy in the world, and I sort of think that it trickles down to everybody else. And it's sort of like, as long as I keep my my energy in the right place, I think that that's, that's sort of my my mission and I think you know I think I'm succeeding so far in life spread the happiness spread around the happiness yeah. you know you got to feel good life is good right I love that that's yeah. so beautiful and refreshing yeah.